Okay, I feel a little bit silly making this video, um, but that's because my level of humility, according to Gary Vee, is not quite in check, but here I am. I've been watching the same Gary video like every day for like two weeks now, telling me and the millions to just hop on chat and do a life update specifically if you've just been out of touch and very distant and i feel like that has been me um all year actually now i was just trying to think of a specific time frame and all year yeah all year so life update leading into the holidays um one of my biggest i'll like do one of my biggest mistakes and one of my biggest ups for this year um and then i'll talk a little bit about um my vehicle situation and um just where i'm at right now um so earlier this year um i had this great idea and thought that i had graduated therapy um lifelong lesson learned um you do not graduate therapy <sighs> you just move into a different category um I thought I graduated therapy um, and I got done on my own choice. Silly me. Um, obviously, I was not like my feet were not touching the ground. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, yeah, I guess the term would be humbled. Yeah, the term would be humbled. Um, this summer, I realized that leaving therapy was probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. And I'm very grateful that I have amazing friends and Tony who are there to keep me grounded and like support me through all this and Tony to help me um, get back into therapy, my therapist who took me back in really quickly. Um, not that she had a choice. I kind of just showed up, but, um, yeah, <laughs> literally just showed up in the office. Um, that was in July and now I'm here. It is November and I'm doing much better than I was then. Um, so if you're in therapy, um, I recommend staying even when you feel like you are at the strongest point in your life. And if you're not in therapy, I feel like therapy is just one of those things where it's like getting a checkup. I feel like you should always be checking on your physical health and a part of your health is the mental health. And I definitely am a huge believer in making sure your mental health is in check. Like, one thing I've done for a long time is mental health days. Like when my mental health is not feeling well, I take a mental health day just like I would take a sick day for strep throat or vid or like literally anything else. So lesson learned. Um, and that is a huge thing I've learned in this year is that I'm just going to stay in therapy um, forever. I am married to therapy now. Great stuff. <laughs> no sarcasm. I know I paused. No sarcasm there. Um, recently, I got into a car accident. I'm extremely grateful. Um, extremely grateful. Um, someone had drove out in front of me. I T-boned them like literally like a perfect T. Um, I'm thankfully no one's hurt. And I'm also thankful it was not my fault um, because I know that makes things a lot smoother on the insurance. I'm thankful for the person who was like straight up to the police. Like I was not paying attention, which I feel like I'm super grateful that that was just, everything was just so black and white. But I'm also grateful I'm not injured because my car was smashed. The airbag deployed, the front smashed in like an accordion, the frame of the car, like the passenger door does not open. It is like done. Um, I'm thankful that no one was in the car with me. And I'm super thankful that I randomly thought to leave my puppy in the car or at home not in the car. I usually take Hercules with me to places. And that day I was just like, for no reason, I left him home. So I'm super grateful um, for that, you know, thought of intuition, just feeling very blessed. I only left um, with my hand got hurt from the airbag deploying and my legs got a little banged up, but I have no broken bones, um, no serious injuries. And I'm really thankful the whiplash was wild. 
I slept for days. I felt I was sleeping in bed. I was sleeping on the couch. Everywhere I was sitting, I was sleeping. It was crazy. Um, but I am extremely grateful. And um, yeah, circling to today, um, that was two weeks ago. Fast forward to right now, it's almost Thanksgiving. I'm feeling very grateful for my health, my family, my kids, my puppies, for Tony. Um, on Thanksgiving Day, he hits 21 years in the Air Force, which is wild. Like his military career is about to be drinking age. Like, bro just turned 40, his military career is 21. That's so crazy. Um, but I'm really happy for him. I'm gonna celebrate him. We'll definitely like to do a post on things. Um, so that's what's coming up. That's like our biggest thing on Thanksgiving. Um, besides like taking that time to like reflect on like what we're grateful for. Um, currently in the works of visiting my brother for Christmas. I haven't been with my brother for Christmas in a really long time. Um, Christmas is my favorite holiday and I really like, I miss my brother all the time. I don't really know what to talk about with him much. Um, so I will like just, when I'm thinking of him, I'll just say like, hey, like, how are you doing? I, or I'll just like message him about some random thing just to like strike a conversation that I don't really know anything about that I know he's interested in, like car related. I'll see a car and I'll be like, hey, like I'll send him a picture of like this vehicle. I don't really care about the car. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> he's probably like, if he watches this, he's like, no wonder she always talks to me about random shit. Um, yeah, my brother, he's a baddie. I don't know if I can swear on here, but I would like call him a bad beach. Um, he a baddie. Um, he is a finance manager for Toyota. He is killing it. Uh, he wants to be like a GM one day. I definitely think he will. He'll probably be like the youngest GM like out there, probably like a record or something. Um, he is like super motivated like retired from the military, like literally could not be like more proud of this kid. He calls himself a degenerate all the time, but that just tells me that he's humble, right? Like this boy is humble and just like creme de la creme, confident all at the same time. So anyways, super proud of him. Um, so yes, anyways, Christmas Last year was a huge letdown. I really was confident that we were going to make it down there for Christmas last year. Ugh, made the mistake of telling the kids we were going down there for Christmas last year. Made the mistake of telling him. It, and I was like, I was just so sure it was going to happen. Um, but a lot of stuff like fell down on us that it just couldn't work. Like no matter how I tried to figure it out, it just wasn't going to work. Um, this year it's going to freaking work. It's going to work out. My plan is so solid. Um, I'm speaking into existence. Like I'm making a video from Texas with my little brother. It's happening. It's happening period. Um, so that's what we're doing through the holidays comic books is going really good. I haven't picked up much from my collection lately. Like I'm not going to lie. It feels like really weird, but I've been trying to read more. So I've been picking up more stuff to read. So that's where my comic budget, um, has been going, has been picking up stuff that I can just like R and R read and relax. Um, I love reading and I, the more, the longer I've been into comics, the more I enjoy reading. So I've been into comics for like six years, but I find myself each year, like I'm become more and more of a reader. Um, so where I used to collect really heavy in the beginning, um, now I have stacks and stacks of graphic novels everywhere. Like every room has a stack of books. Like I'm not even kidding. I'm looking around in my room and behind me, I have piles of graphic novels everywhere. So, um, yeah, that's this life in a nutshell. It's almost been 10 minutes and that's where it cuts off. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you're here at the end, um, thank you for still being here and listening. And I appreciate you guys more than you know. And I hope you have a wonderful uh, holiday season. Bye, guys.